Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. Today, I want to talk to you about uh, IRAs and estate tax prep. I don't know, I'm not sure what the title was, I forgot. But it has to do with both of those things, okay? Um, and before I get to that though, I want to remind you, if you have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate and you want to talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Plus, by the way, I'm excited to announce we have another office. Our, pri our sort of like primary office is in Kirkland. We have a new office in Renton. So pumped about that. Hope that you be helping all you Renton folks out pretty soon. Um, just hop on the phone, okay? All right, um, so this is a, sort of a spin. I, th I don't remember what, which video I made last, but I was talking about um, IRAs and charitable remainder trusts, using them to um, sort of offset some of the nastiness of having an, an inherited IRA. And I wanted to talk about um, another conversation that I had today with someone that uh, just sort of uh, gives you another thing to consider. And also, by the way, talks a little bit about the danger of trying to avoid estate tax and opening yourself up to other taxes, okay? So let's set the stage here a little bit. First of all, we are not talking about federal estate tax. In this particular video, we are talking about Washington state estate tax. That's important to know because the, the um, estate tax limits are much smaller than they are um, when it comes to federal estate taxes. We're talking about 10%, um, 14, 15, 16, as opposed to like 40, okay, 45. So keep that in mind which means when you are thinking about how to gift your assets, maybe get some of them out of your estate, um, not receiving the step up in basis um, does make a difference in these calculations because paying a 20% capital gains tax on an asset may actually cost you more than if you just paid uh, the Washington State estate tax if you hold on to them, okay? now. Hold on a second, hold your horses because we're trying to really um, lower all those taxes as much as we can. And this is a scenario where someone has a rather large IRA, so let's call it like $2.5 million, okay? I'm just making stuff up. This is a hypothetical situation. It is based on a conversation I had today, but it's, let's call it hypothetical. $2.5 million um, in, an IRA, in a retirement accounts, and well, like let's say 1.5 in other assets, including a home, okay? So the, the problem is there's not a lot of cash. You can't really gift out a lot of what we're talking about because there would be sort of penalties, there would be income tax already paid, and and there's also this aspect of the, you know, at, at that amount of money, that's still a lot, but, you know, people like to hang on to some of that cash, some of those assets, in case they actually need them in the future. So we were kind of brainstorming some of the different things to do. I mentioned the charitable trust idea that I talked about last video or two video, two videos ago, a couple videos ago, um, that wasn't uh, necessarily a great option for them, only because it didn't solve the most of the problem, which is to reduce the estate tax liability, okay? The charitable giving was fine for them, but it wasn't a, a huge thing. They were most concerned about having to uh, deal with this potential estate tax liability. The, the, it's not a solution. One of the proposed solutions that we came up with was um, sort of a longer term solution, but it's something to consider. Um, the, does the state at, at $2.5 million with an IRA, as you get older, those distributions are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. You're gonna be required to take them. And when you take them, you're going to have to pay income tax on them. One of the things that this person was doing was they had plenty to, to live off like on a daily basis. So what they were doing is when they were taking these required minimum distributions from their retirement account, they were simply reinvesting that money um, back like in the market, okay? That's great, but you already have a taxable estate um, and the idea is to sort of get some of that out, okay? So what we discussed doing was to create um, an irrevocable trust. Now the type of trust that, that might be sort of remains to be seen. It depends on what they want to be able to do, um, if they want to retain any powers, or if they just want to get rid of all of it, okay? But we are talking about an irrevocable trust, which for the most part will remove these assets from the estate of the person that is creating this kind of trust. 
And then instead of reinvesting that cash that comes out as an IRA distribution, gifting that money over into this irrevocable trust um, and then investing it once it gets in there. So you already have this cash. Instead of sort of like rebuilding up your estate, every time you take a distribution, you're gonna levy that off. Um, you'll make a gift, but it'll be cash, you know, uh, because we're below the federal threshold. We're not really worried about um, over, we're not really worried about annual gifting because we're nowhere near the federal level. And in doing so, you can um, reduce the estate. You can move some of those IRA funds over and hopefully work your way down a little bit over time. Now, um, that will not completely eliminate your estate tax liability, but that's not, that's not necessarily the point. Often it's not a one size fits all solution. You don't just have one big banger of a solution. You sort of chip away here, you chip away there, you do this, you do that, and pretty soon you're down where you need to be, okay? So if you have a big IRA and you're wondering what you should be doing with it, um, if you're young, you just got to hang on, hang on for the ride, okay? If you're older and, you, and you're, you have a situation like this, you may want to consider doing something like that. What I would tell you to do at all times is to hop on the phone and talk with someone like me, like my team, um, someone that kind of knows what they're doing, that can that can hear what your needs are, what your concerns are, and they can tailor a solution or some potential solutions that will give you um, the best outcome based on what you want to do, what your goals are, and what your needs are. Okay, hopefully that made sense. I think it did. I think it did a pretty good job. Uh, um, if I did, that's great. Um, hit the like button. If you know someone needs to hear this, please share it with them. If you have a question or comment, please leave it. I will answer it. And if you have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate, and you want to talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay, that is it. As always, I am Christopher Small. I am the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning. We do probate. We do it well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you, and I will talk to you again soon. See ya.